topic is all about trigonometric derivatives. Um, trigonometric derivatives is like finding the derivative of um, basic derivatives. Like, um, but the difference is we're going to use um, trigonometric function. Okay, my example is y equals ln parenthesis cosine parenthesis 2x cubed minus 7x plus 6 to the fifth. We have, um, I list um, the four terms, which is ln cosine square root of um, parenthesis to the fifth and 2x cubed minus 7x plus 6 so that I know that which I will find the derivative for chain rule. Okay, y prime is equals to 1 over cosine 2x cubed minus 7x plus 6 to the fifth um, because ln is um, the derivative L, the derivative of ln is just 1 over x. This whole thing is x. Um, make common errors like um, they do like 1 over x and then multiply it by the term. Okay, and then multiply it by the um, derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, and then the block times, um, which is the parenthesis to, um, to the fifth, five, bring up the five because of the power rule, and then the block, five minus one is equals to four. Multiply it by the derivative, the derivative of the block, which is six, six x squared minus seven. Then um, multiply it, um, and then you get negative five sine, 2x cubed minus 7x plus 6 to the fifth all, all over cosine 2x cubed minus 7x plus 6 to the fifth times 2x cubed minus 7x plus 6 to the fourth times 6x squared minus 7. This whole thing is just tangent. Sine over cosine is just tangent. So you can basically um, simplify it like negative 5 tangent 2x cubed minus 7x plus 6 to the fifth times 2x cubed minus 7x plus 6 to the fourth times 6x squared minus 7. Um, I'm going to um, also um, um, use uh, implicit differentiation. As um, Vanessa said, like implicit differentiation is used when you can um, find the derivative, the derivative explicitly. So my example is for cosine x sine y equals negative 22. Cosine x and sine y, I use um, product rule as Karen said because it has two terms. And then I bring out the four because it's constant. So u prime times v, oh, u prime times v plus u times v prime equals zero because this one is constant. So I get negative four sine x by distributing it plus four, negative four sine x times sine y plus four cosine x cosine y y prime. Don't forget the y prime because if you have y, um, basically it's, it's just y prime and equals to zero. Um, isolate terms containing y prime for cosine x, cosine y, y prime, and then for sine x, sine y. Don't forget to um, change the sign when you move um, it to the other side of the equation. Um, so factor y prime, y prime parentheses for cosine x, cosine y, and then equals for sine x, sine y. Divide both sides um, by for cosine x, cosine y to get y, y prime itself. So you cancel it and then divide it, and then you get y prime equals 4 sine x sine y all over 4 cosine x cosine y. You can um, um, cancel 4 and then it is equal to 1 and then sine x sine y over cosine x cosine y. And a while ago I said sine x over cosine x is just tangent x and tangent y. And Woo!